My very first memory of my father was of him playing his fiddle on stage. I was four years old. I looked around and seen the tons and tons of people on the dance floor having the time of their life. I looked back at my father under those hot lights playing hard. And at that moment, he was my hero. Weekend after weekend, night after night, I would sit and listen to Dad put his emotions out there. I noticed how happy he was. I noticed the joy and energy coming from his fiddle. I truly believe people listening to my dad would be feeling emotions inside of them they hadn't felt a minute ago. It was like they were being hypnotized, like they were in a trance. I love that idea of music as a spiritual connection. Making others tap into something they don't normally feel in their day-to-day lives. My dad may not have said this in so many words. He let his music do the talking. But I know he believed this. 23 years after that first moment watching dad on stage, we're sitting at the kitchen table, jamming. It's April 2008, and I'm home visiting from Montreal, where I was going to an audio recording school. I always knew I wanted to record Dad, so why not now? I didn't have any of my professional equipment with me, so I opened up my laptop. We record nine songs. The tenth and last song, I accompany him on guitar. It's a song he wrote for my mother a long time ago. I return to Montreal with the recordings. Little did I know... That would be the last time I would hear him play his fiddle. In October, Dad got sick with cancer. I came home and brought all my gear back with me. My three-year-old nephew accidentally dropped the hard drive with all my recordings, including the recordings of my dad. It wasn't his fault, but I was devastated. I'd get over it. There were more important things to focus on. Urged on by the kids, Dad and Mom decided after 40 years together to finally marry. On January 3rd, in the basement of the Bonneville Hospital, they said their vows. I was his best man. Dad died 16 days later. What can I say? The dream of any musician is the chance to play, to record, to bond with their idol. I was lucky. Although when we were recording... He did not like me telling him what to do. We got through it. I hold that moment close to my heart knowing he holds it close to his. I'll never forget his words. Son, I'm proud of you. Six words that changed the way I thought about my own life. He once told me, When you have passion, you have a gift. And if you use that gift properly, you can change the world. (laughs) 